Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a before and after GIF, and then I'm gonna show you how to upload it to Instagram. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me all over the internet, but mostly you'll find me at flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And I'm so excited about today's episode. It's a really like, there's a lot of steps to today's episode, but nothing's hard. So you're totally gonna be able to follow along. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create a before and after image of any image you've worked on in Photoshop. Then from there, we're gonna show you how to animate that. So you can create a before and after animation. We're gonna show you how to export this out as an animated GIF. So you could upload it to sites like your website or your blog. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna show you how to render that exact same GIF out as a video, and we're gonna upload it to Instagram. All right guys, we're starting this off with just a regular PSD. This is a layered file. We've got a bunch of different steps and I'm using one of the final images from the ultimate guide to retouching, which is available online right now. You can click on your screen to find this amazing tutorial. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So here's our image from the ultimate guide to retouching. Now, this is the actual file that we created in the tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all of these groups so we can see what our before and our after look like which is awesome. I love before and afters. It's one of my favorite parts of working in Photoshop. So here you can see there's our before and there's the after. And if you're interested in learning about this, again, click on your screen because we do have this available as a tutorial. But in this case, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna just show you each individual step. So we've got our first retouch. We can see our frequency separation here, which is an amazing technique. Color, hair, eyes, nose and mouth, dodge and burn, and then sharpen to finish it off. So I wanna be able to show people the before and after because on, the, on our website for flurn.com, we ran like a, a big homepage thing. We wanted to show people the before and the after like super big. And when you guys are displaying your own work and your skills in Photoshop, it's gonna like, people love seeing before and after. So that's why we wanted to create this episode to show you a couple different ways of doing it. Okay, so here's our before, right? This is our, our original image. We started out with this one. And now we need to go ahead and create our after. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer on top of everything. So this is when you're done with your edit. Create a new layer on top of everything and go to image and then down here to apply image. Okay, now apply image, you would wanna use these exact same settings. Let's go to layer merged, channel RGB and blending mode is going to be multiply and opacity 100. It pretty much should load these settings by default, but you wanna make sure you're on these exact settings. And what this is gonna do when I hit okay, there we go. It's basically just gonna put a copy of everything you see on a new layer. So we see we have layer 26. So if I zoom out and I just grab my move tool, I can move my layer 26 and you can see it's just one layer that's a copy of everything you see. So effectively what we have now is our before and our after. The before is my original layer, the background right here. And the after is up here in layer 26. Okay, so we've got our before and after. We got our before, it was already there. And the after we did the apply image. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new document and I'm gonna duplicate both the before layer and the after layer into that document and we're gonna show you how to animate it. All right guys, so we got our before and our after. Now we're ready to animate it. So what I wanna do is create a format that I know is gonna work really well for Instagram. Now you can create any format you'd like, image size, whatever. In this case, we're, our eventual goal is Instagram. So I'm gonna create a new document, Command N, and we're gonna make it 1000 by 1000 pixels, okay? And it's a square format, right? This is how Instagram works. So we're gonna hit okay there. Now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on my image, and I'm gonna command click on these layers. So I've got layer 26 and our background layer both selected now. And what we're gonna do is just click and drag these from this document over to this one. It's really easy. Just go where your layers are and click and drag from one to the other. You can see layer 26 and the background layer showing up and I'm gonna let go. There we go. Let's hit F to full screen this. So now we can see we have our background, layer one and layer two. 
If I turn this layer off, we have our before and after, right? Because that's what we essentially created. The before was the original image. The after is all of our changes. We took just those two layers and we put them on a new document. And now if I turn one layer off or on, there we go. That's our before and after. Super cool. So now I want to move these. I want to make sure they're centered and everything like that. When you're moving your before and after, make sure you're selected on both your layers. For instance, if I only select one layer and move this one, if I make it invisible, that's not exactly a before and after because it moves, right? So you want to make sure to move them both together. So we're going to hold down the shift key and click on both of these layers. That's going to select them both. And now I can move them both wherever I'd like. You can hit command or control T to transform them. You can make them smaller, or bigger, whatever you want. This is as long as you're doing it to both of the images at the same time. All right. So here we have our before and our after. Because I moved them both at the same time, they're both the same exact dimensions. All right, guys, so we're all set up. We've got two layers now. One of is our before and one is the after. Now I need to figure out how do we actually animate this. And for that, we're going to go to Window in Photoshop, and I'm going to go down to Timeline. So Window and then down to Timeline. Now we're going to get something here that says Create Video Timeline. You can see our timelines down here at the bottom. Create video timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and go to create frame animation. You can see there's a little drop down here. We want to go to create frame animation. That's super important. So we'll go ahead and click there and we'll click on create frame animation. So a frame animation basically just allows us to create individual frames. So now we have our first frame. We can see that's our first frame looking good. And what I want to do, I don't, I, want, I don't want to have to figure out all the complicated Photoshop stuff. I just want to be able to stick my layers into frames. And luckily, there's actually a command that does that for me, which is really nice. So we're going to go over here in our timeline window. So you can see I'm still in my timeline window. This little menu bar right over here is a couple lines with the down arrow. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go to the option that says Make frames from layers. And keep in mind, I've got these two layers selected here. Okay, so I've got the layers selected. Then I'm going to go to make frames from layers. So I want to make animation frames from these layers. All right, let's go ahead and click on that. And there we can see we've got now we've got, well, our background was a layer. So that gets its own frame. This is one frame and that's another frame. All right, well, let's say we want to delete our background layer because we actually do. Let's just click on it and we're going to delete it right down there. And we'll say, yes, I'd like to be done with you, please. OK, so here's our first frame and here's our second frame. All right, we're doing great so far, guys. We've actually loaded our images into frames in the animation. Now we're going to show you the settings you need to know in order to complete this video. All right, guys, so now we've got our before and our after loaded as frames in our timeline. So we just need to get all of our settings right to make sure it's going to create a video that we actually want. So here in our timeline, we can see we've got our first frame. That's essentially our before. And our second frame is our after. That works pretty dang well. You can see there are a couple options here. Right now, underneath, it says zero seconds. So it's going to play for like zero seconds. I don't want that. So I'm going to shift click on the two of those. I'm going to click where it says zero seconds. There's a little down arrow. We're going to click there, and I'm going to say two seconds. I want those each to be two seconds long. So I'm going to hit play here, and it's going to go for two seconds, and then it's going to change. And then it's going to be done, because our setting here, it's set to do this once. But I don't want that. A before and after should go forever, right? It should always be like before and after. So down here under where it says once, and we've got a little down arrow, I'm going to click here, and I'm going to say forever. So now it's going to do this forever. So if I hit this play button here, you can see it's going to continue to do this forever, literally for all time. It's just switching back and forth. All right. And those are the options we need. So we have like basically a before and after video, but it's stuck inside of Photoshop. And we need to get it out. How do we get it out? So now it's time to export this video out in a couple of different formats. And the reason we want different formats is because we're going to be putting these in different places. Now, for things like your website, your blog, whatever, an animated GIF is going to be perfect. So we're going to show you how to do that. And now when it comes to Instagram or other things that require a video, I'm going to show you how to render out a video as well. So what we're about to do, we're going to export out both an animated GIF and a video. Okay. 
Okay, so now it's time to export out this animated GIF. So to do that, we'll go to File, and then if you're using an older version of Photoshop, you're gonna see Save for Web right around here. Now, if you're using the latest version of Photoshop, CC 2015, they put it in a different place. It's gonna be over here in Export, and then over here, Save for Web. So that's still my preferred method. So File, Save for Web. Okay, now here, what we wanna do is choose on this setting, we wanna choose a GIF. This is going to allow us the animation. So we've got GIF, and then here on the very bottom of this, we've got our looping options, forever, which we want, and here are our frames. So let's go ahead and hit this play button just to make sure it's doing what we want. All right, and if I hit play and just kind of like sit back here, we can see it is in fact cycling through our images. Okay, so everything we need to go, need to do is actually done. So I'm gonna hit save here, and we're just gonna put this on our desktop, and we'll just call this before, after. So we've exported out that GIF. Let's go ahead and make sure that it works in our internet browser. It's important we see it actually works. So I'm gonna go to our desktop. Here we see before and after .gif, and I'm gonna right click and go to open with Google Chrome. In this case, if you open it with an internet browser, it just shows you what it's gonna look like on the internet. So let's go ahead and do that. Click there, and here we can see this is our animated GIF. And we can see it is, in fact, doing exactly what we wanted it to do. So if your whole idea was to create a before and after animated GIF, well, guess what? You can stop watching because we just did that and it's successful, congratulations. But if you wanna learn how to upload to Instagram as well, Instagram doesn't take animated GIFs. I know, sad face, I don't know why they don't do it. But we can get around that. What we're gonna do is export out a video and then we're gonna use that video on Instagram. All right guys, so now we wanna stick this thing on Instagram. And we already said we can't use an animated GIF. So we're gonna export out a video instead. Well, luckily we have almost no work in Photoshop because we've already created our frames. They last for two seconds, it's gonna go forever. So what we're gonna do now is go to File, we'll go down here to Export, and then we're gonna go to Render Video. Okay, so Photoshop can render video, just in case you were wondering. Okay, let's go ahead and call this before and after. Oh, or just not spell it at all correctly. Uh, before and after 2.mp4, which is a video format, and all this we're gonna keep by default, H.264 and 1000 by 1000. All right, let's go ahead and hit render. Okay, so what this is doing is it's sticking a video on our desktop. So let's go ahead to our desktop and we'll see our before after.mp4. I'm gonna hit the space bar and view this and we can see it is in fact the exact video that we want. Okay, so now we've got an animated GIF and a video on our desktop. So we can use these really wherever we want. So to get this to Instagram, this is the only part where it's like, it's overly complicated because you can't upload videos to Instagram on your computer, which I think is totally silly, but whatever, I don't own Instagram, so it's I don't have any control of it. You have to use a mobile device, like your iPhone or your, uh, Android phone, <laughs> iPad, um, whatever it is. So basically what we have to do now is email ourselves the file and open it up on our iPad. So I'll go ahead and walk you through that as well. All right, guys, I've tried this a bunch of different ways and my final verdict is the easiest way to get a file from your computer to your phone is just email it to yourself because you can email it on your phone, you can check email and you can download the file. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna just go to compose, we'll Go to info at flurn.com. That looks good there. All right, the subject will be before, after, and we're gonna go ahead and attach a file from our desktop, before, after, mp4, and we're gonna hit open. It's gonna attach it, and then let's just go ahead and hit the send button. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's everything we need to do on the computer. Next, we're gonna switch over to our tablet so we can show you how to actually post that Instagram video from your tablet or mobile device or wherever else you decide you want to. All right, so we've emailed ourselves a video. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and check our email. So I'm gonna click on my email button here and we go ahead and see this is our before after email. And here we have before after .mp4. So I'm gonna just click and hold there and we're gonna go down to save video. Okay, so I'm using an iPad here. You might have a totally different device you're using but it should work in about the same way. Okay, so after our video is done downloading, I'm gonna go back to my home screen and then pop into Instagram. Okay, 
Now here on Instagram, I can go ahead and load up an image. So I'm gonna use my center button here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and look into our library. In our library, here we have the video that I just downloaded from the email. Let's go ahead and hit the play button to make sure that it works. Okay, there we go, it's working. All right, so now what we have to do is hit the next button. You can choose to add a filter if you'd like. Go here next, go ahead and write your caption. Facebook, Twitter, whatever you have it, and then hit post. All right, guys, and that's all there is to creating a before and after in Photoshop and then exporting it out as a GIF and a video and then uploading it to Instagram. All right, guys, I know we covered a ton in this video. Just remember these key steps. After you're done working with your image in Photoshop, go ahead and create a new layer and then go to apply image. This is going to allow you to create a snapshot of the end product. Then we're gonna duplicate the new layer as well as our original layer over to a new document. That's gonna allow us to have our before and our after as layers. After we have our before and after as layers, we're gonna go ahead and create a video timeline. So go to window and down to timeline, then create a frame animation. We're going to our menu and choosing go ahead and make some frames from our layers. All right, and from here, it's all about choosing our options. So we deleted our original frame, we chose the duration of each frame, which in this case was two seconds, and we decided to make it last forever. Okay, so that's the before and after video made. Then we have to export it. So the first way we export is go to file and then save for web and devices. And that's gonna allow us to save it as, as a GIF. Make sure you choose your looping options as forever. And that's going to play on a website or a blog or whatever accepts GIFs, it's going to be perfect. Now, if you wanna export a video, just go to file, down to export, and then render video. Use all the settings that come by default and go ahead and render this out to your desktop or wherever you'd like it. Now, if you want this on Instagram, you can't load it up from your computer. You gotta use your mobile device. That's why we emailed ourselves the file. So simply email yourself the file and then check that email on your mobile device. Download your video and then you've got it on your phone or tablet or whatever you're using and you're ready to load it up to Instagram. All right, cool, and that's all there is to it. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me at Flurn. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I know it's a lot of steps, but nothing's really that hard. It was just like, do this, and then this, and this, and this. And if you need to just create an animated GIF, now you know how to do that also. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me here at Flurn. I hope you love learning more about Photoshop and Instagram and animated GIFs, all that stuff. If you liked today's episode, hit that subscribe button on your screen now. We'll send you free videos, Photoshop and photography, just like this every single week. You don't have to give us anything in return. Just a big old smile. All right, and if you have any questions or comments about today's video, just leave them right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Woo! It's gonna be a good episode. Let's go ahead and dip our toes in it. Cool. So we're, all right, so, all right, guys, let's go ahead and create, so we're gonna start off. All right, guys. All right, guys. So starting it off. All right. Come on, just the toes. An animated GIF works perfectly, or GIF. I don't know how to actually say that word, but maybe you guys will tell me in the comments down below which one is the right spelling. Just the toes. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I've ever done. Let me do it again. <laughs> 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 <laughs>